But oh boys and girls, today we're going to do a frog dissection. I'm Mr. Ferrante. If you don't remember who I am, it's been a long time. So we have two frogs here. I'm going to help us out here. I haven't named them yet, but uh, um, frogs are carnivores. That means they eat meat. And they also call them amphibians because they live half their life in the water and half on land. And you can look up that later on on your own. Let's look at some external anatomy of the frog. First of all, if you look at the frog closely, its front um, paws or hands have four fingers. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. They also have fingernails here. If you look closely, you can see the fingernails there. And uh, ladies, uh, if you were probably wanting to do their nails or something like that, you probably have to hold off on that. The back legs are a little different. They have uh, five toes, one, two, three, four, five, and their feet is webbed, which allows them to swim better in the water. Uh, if we look at their skin, uh, a frog usually breathes through its skin. Um, it does have lungs. We'll see later on what those look like. This is a, called a leopard tree frog. You can see because of the leopard skin on it. Uh, the other things on it are we have what's called the ear. This is called the tympanic membrane. It also has an eye here. It has a little um, covering here called a nictitating membrane that allows it to see. The, and um, when the eyes open, it covers it when it's swimming so it can see in the water when it's swimming. Um, this here uh, leads into the mouth like our ears lead into the mouth. And there's a tube there called the eustachian tube. And uh, one thing about the frog, if we open up his mouth here, we're gonna open up his mouth. You can see it has a tongue. We're gonna have to cut it open a little bit here. And it might gross you out a little bit, but we'll do the best we can. Okay, so I won't stab myself either. So we crack the jaw. That's the first thing we're going to do. And we crack the jaw. Now the skin's unique. We can also look at the skin here. We're going to lift a little bit out and see the little musculature here. For those uh, gentlemen out there, especially you boys who are at the junior high age, you're looking at how to get a six pack. Well, I'm going to show you how to get a six pack. What you have to do is jump like a frog. Because a frog has multiple muscles there. You can see there. And if you look under the skin there, they have blood vessels. And these blood vessels allow it to breathe with the air. And that's how a frog usually breathes, is mostly through its skin. Um, we can take more of the skin off and see more musculature of that frog there. But we're just going to stop there. Uh, we look here. Oh, look at that. It looks like it's been eating something there. It has a little, little something inside. It looks like a part of a beetle. Hmm. Maybe the stomach will show more. Now, the frog has, in the top here, has some teeth. And these teeth right here, um, you can feel them if you put your finger there. Yeah, yep, there's two teeth. They're called vomerin teeth. And how a frog eats is very unusual. Uh, first of all, this tongue, which is um, different than our tongue in two ways. One, it's attached to the front of the mouth and ours is attached to the back. When it's attached to the front, it allows it to come out it grabs the food, puts it back in its mouth, the vomerin teeth hold the live food there, closes its mouth, and then it swallows it whole by it, the two eyes actually push in and push the food down into the uh, esophagus and into the stomach and where that's where the food gets digested. So we'll look at that later and see what things are in that stomach there. Mostly likely a beetle there. Now a frog mates, um, when the, let's pretend this is the male frog. I'm really not an expert telling the male and females unless they look inside. But the male usually has a larger pad on the front paw than the female. What it does, it grabs onto the female, holds on, and squeezes the female. And then the eggs come out into the water. And then the sperm from the male frog fertilize the eggs on the outside. And there's thousands and thousands of eggs and uh, survival rates not very high depending upon where these frogs are laying eggs so what now we're going to do is going to open up this frog we looked at the skin we looked at the front four fingers four fingers five toes five toes web feet um, it's an amphibian eats it's carnivore eats meat tongues attached to the front has vomerin teeth eustachian tube the ears and the two eyes which have membranes covering it so the, to open up the frog now, what we do is we take our scissors here, 
and we push down a little bit and then we lift up a little bit like such and as we lift that up ooh, we got a female frog it looks like okay let's see make a little incision there and we're gonna make a little incision over here it's a beautiful day in Modesto today and we open up the body cavity and here we go so the very first thing I notice here okay you can taste see how big these frogs are too this is about 19 centimeters in length if I stretched out the legs and everything we take our probe here and the first thing we notice this stuff right here these are eggs and it's a female of course because it has eggs and there's like thousands and thousands of eggs inside of here and that's what gets squeezed out and gets fertilized so the first thing we have to do is clean out the eggs okay so we're going to clean out those eggs okay and we'll go on this side over here and you can see these are lots and lots of eggs tons of eggs here Okay, and they all stick together, and so when they come out, they just basically are in one clump. And you can see they are, those are thousands of tiny little eggs there. Okay, okay, Let me get those off there. Looks like caviar a little bit. Okay, so let's take a look at some anatomy here. First of all, there is one opening down here. That one opening is where the feces come out, and also known as poop, right? And the pee, and if it's a male, the sperm, and the female, the eggs. Everything comes out of this one opening. If we look on top here, um, really can't see much if you open up the head and you can't see a brain because the brain's pretty small which is obvious because it's a frog. Um, right here we have the heart. This is the heart of the frog. Uh, the heart is three chambers. Our heart is, th uh, is four chambers. It has one, two, three chambers. Ours has four. The bottom part would be divided in two. Uh, as I said that um, the, it's because the frog's dead and stuff like that. You can't see any blood and things like that. Um, if we look underneath here, Attached to the heart is a lung. Here's one lung. It's kind of flimsy there. On the other side, if I go underneath, is the other lung. As I said, the lungs really don't do much. It's the skin that the frog uses for breathing. And there's the other lung. So we have a heart and two lungs. And then underneath here we have the liver. And as food goes down its mouth and down the esophagus, it gets to a structure right over here. And this is your stomach. This is your stomach. It's J shaped. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a little cutting out here for you can see certain things a little later. I just want to point out, see, more, more eggs, more eggs, lots and lots of eggs. Okay, that's the one problem with... Uh, dissecting the female frog is that the eggs just take over the entire dissection. So I'm trying to scrape them out before you can see them there. We can get those out. Okay, there we go. Okay, so here's his stomach. Okay, this is the liver, the three sections to the liver. Underneath the liver, we have that little structure right there, that little sac, that white sac, that's the gallbladder. And the gallbladder is used um, to, to store um, bile, which is then released into the small intestine, this being the small intestine, and it helps to digest fats. The liver um, takes food coming from the small intestine and takes all the poisons out of the food. And that's why your liver is an important structure because without your liver, you would not be able to take uh, poisons out of your food. We also have this mesentery here. Underneath it, we have some pancreas, a little pancreas. Um, 
as I said, here's the small intestines. A frog really doesn't have a large intestine. It has what's called a cloaca. And the cloaca is where everything, the pee, the poop, the sperm, if it's the male, and the eggs of the female, everything comes out of there, right there, and that's called the cloaca. We have a large intestine, they don't. So what I wanna do next, um, before we close this up, is we're gonna see if there's anything in our stomach here and see if this frog has had a last meal to eat with. So we're gonna tip out the stomach here. And as we take out our stomach, you can see the stomach is, eh, I don't know if there's anything in here. Doesn't look like it has anything inside. Nope. Um, a little thing, a little part of a beetle or something that it ate. You can see how it's uh, the structure of it such that when the stomach crushes food and stuff like that and mixes it, um, the structure allows for that. And um, so that's basically the parts of the frog I want you to understand and see. Hopefully you enjoyed that. If you were here, you would be feeling this right now. And I say, time to clean up. And let's say goodbye, frog. Bye, frog. Okay, frog said goodbye. Thank you. And hopefully you learned something about the anatomy of a frog. Very similar to our anatomy. Some major differences, though. Um, the heart, as I said, is a three chamber. Ours is four. This has a liver and a gallbladder like us, it has a stomach like us, has a small intestine in us, doesn't have a large intestine, has that cloaca. And one opening, well we have multiple openings in the male, we have uh, two openings and the female has three. Okay, so hopefully you learned something and someday maybe you two will be able to open up a frog and see what they look like. Thank you very much, take care and have a great summer.